Spirulina Benefits, 10 Amazing Health Benefits of Spirulina. What is spirulina? Spirulina is a type of algae that grows in freshwater lakes and ponds. It has a distinctive blue-green color and is often consumed either in its powdered form or as a supplement. Spirulina is a truly amazing food, with even NASA extensively researching the algae in the hope of growing it in space as a great source of nutrients for astronauts. As it is very high in protein, as well as vitamins, it has become an increasingly popular supplement for those following vegetarian and vegan diets. However, even meat eaters can benefit from its many properties. Because of its growing popularity, spirulina has been the subject of many scientific studies in the hope of finding out whether it lives up to a claim. Here are 10 evidence-based health benefits of adding spirulina to your diet. 1. It is extremely nutritional. Spirulina is one of the most nutrient-dense foods available on the planet. Its nutritional profile includes vitamin B1, 2, and 3, as well as magnesium, potassium, and iron. Per 7-gram serving, spirulina also contains 20 calories, 4.02 grams of protein, 1.67 grams of carbohydrates, 0.54 grams of fat, 8 milligrams of calcium, 2 milligrams of iron, 14 milligrams of magnesium, 8 milligrams of phosphorus, 95 milligrams of potassium, 73 milligrams of sodium, 0.7 milligrams of vitamin C. Source, Medical News Today. Each of these vitamins and minerals plays an important role in ensuring that your body functions normally and efficiently. As well as those mentioned above, spirulina also contains trace elements of almost every nutrient needed for your body to function, making it an easy way to add valuable nutrients to your diet that you might otherwise miss out on. For those who choose not to eat meat or eggs, spirulina can provide the body with an excellent source of protein by supplying most essential amino acids. This also makes a great meat alternative for those who are trying to reduce their meat intake without compromising the amount of protein they consume. 2. It may have cholesterol-lowering abilities. When it comes to cholesterol, we have both good high-density cholesterol and bad low-density cholesterol. Studies have shown that consuming spirulina regularly has the potential to lower the amount of bad LDL cholesterol while simultaneously raising good HDL cholesterol. Heart disease is currently the world's leading cause of death, with the amount of LDL cholesterol in a person's body being one of the biggest causes of the disease. By adding spirulina to your diet, you may lower your risk of developing heart disease. However, it's also important to consider other factors of your lifestyle that may contribute to the development of heart disease, such as smoking and alcohol consumption. 3. It may provide anti-cancer properties as well as having properties that may prevent heart disease, some studies also suggest that spirulina has the potential to fight the world's second most common cause of death, cancer. This is through its ability to activate immune cells, often called natural killer cells. These cells can improve the body's defense against tumor growth. Spirulina has been shown to be particularly effective against precancerous lesions in the mouth, and although further studies are needed, so far the evidence looks encouraging. 4. It may help to manage diabetes. Another great benefit of spirulina is its potential to help manage the symptoms of diabetes. A 2018 study suggested that consuming spirulina may lower fasting blood sugar levels. High fasting blood glucose levels are a common issue in both type 1 and type 2 diabetes and are often the cause of complications such as vomiting and excessive hunger and thirst. 5. It may reduce high blood pressure. High blood pressure is one of the leading causes of heart disease. It can be caused by poor diet, poor weight management, prolonged stress, as well as other factors. Consuming spirulina can have a vasodilatory action, meaning that it may be able to relax the arteries. This action means that blood flow is increased and blood pressure is able to normalize.
Studies have been able to isolate the specific molecule that creates this action, naming it SP6. The SP6 molecule is thought to trigger the release of nitric oxide, which is an essential chemical for supporting healthy blood pressure. 6. It may alleviate seasonal allergies. Allergens, such as pollen, animal hair, or dust, can cause inflammation in your nasal passageways. It is this inflammation that results in the sneezing and itchiness that many people feel during peak allergy season. Spirulina is becoming an increasingly popular alternative to traditional allergy medication as evidence emerges that it can provide similar relief. Studies revealed that spirulina may reduce the histamine release from mast cells, the compound that results in itching. 7. It may improve mental health. A 2018 study suggested that as well as aiding your physical health, Spirulina may also be able to improve certain mental health disorders. This is based on the idea that spirulina contains tryptophan, an amino acid that is essential in the production of serotonin, or the happy hormone. For those suffering from anxiety or depression, increasing the levels of serotonin in the brain can improve their mental well-being. However, further research is needed to definitively prove this. 8. It may aid in weight management. When it comes to weight loss, it's no secret that reducing the amount of food you consume is often a great place to start. However, when diets are restricted, they become nutritionally compromised. Spirulina is not only very high in nutrients, but it is also low in calories, meaning that adding spirulina to a restricted diet can mean that you're able to consume fewer calories without losing nutrition. 9. It may support both oral and ocular health. To add to the seemingly endless list of nutrients that spirulina contains, it is also very high in zeaxanthin. This is a pigment that is found in algae, which studies have shown may prevent age-related vision degeneration while also preventing the development of cataracts. Spirulina may also have antibacterial properties. Adding a spirulina-infused mouthwash to your daily routine could reduce the buildup of dental plaque as well as kill the bacteria that lead to gingivitis. 10. It may contribute to healthy digestion. Due to spirulina's cell structure, it has very soft cell walls. This means it is very easily digested. Because of this, spirulina could have long-term benefits for gut health, as research conducted on mice concluded that the algae may aid in preserving gut bacteria as you age. This bacteria is essential for the proper digestion of your food, meaning that you could be less likely to develop digestive issues such as bloating, cramping, or diarrhea. How can you add spirulina to your diet? The easiest way to incorporate spirulina into your diet is to simply take it as a supplement. However, if taking tablets isn't for you, or if you prefer to be more adventurous, there are many other ways you can add it to your diet. One of the most popular ways of consuming spirulina is to add powder to your favorite smoothie. Although spirulina can be quite bitter when eaten on its own, by adding it to a smoothie with other strong flavors, you won't be able to notice the taste. Likewise, another great way to sneak it into your diet is to add it to salad dressings. By combining it with a vinegar-based dressing, the slightly bitter taste will be easily masked while still providing you with the extra nutrients. Finally, if you're one for making your own bread, substituting a couple of grams of flour for spirulina powder can be another great way to eat your daily spirulina. Not only will the algae pack your loaf with many valuable vitamins and minerals, but it will also add a unique green-blue tinge that will set your bread apart from the rest. Spirulina is an extremely nutritionally dense food, possibly even the most nutritionally dense food on the planet. As well as its nutritional profile, it also contains certain compounds that could help with a variety of conditions, such as high blood pressure, diabetes, cancer, and even depression. Adding spirulina to your diet is relatively easy, whether you decide to take a supplement or add it to your meals. However, it's always best to speak with your doctor to make sure that spirulina is safe for you to consume as it is not recommended for people with certain medical conditions. After watching this video, what is your take on spirulina and are you considering adding it to your diet? Let us know in the comments below and thanks for watching!